Hello and welcome to Interactive Canon Tech. Today I'm going to be having a look at Daybridge, which is a new calendar which is currently in development. Um, and the idea behind it is it's instead of using office software and work based software like Google and Outlook to plan your day, um, they thought they'd build a new ca calendar to help with a bit of work life balance. So I joined up to the mailing list. Uh, it's currently in uh, alpha, private alpha stage at the minute as I'm making this video. Um, I, I signed up to the mailing list. I got a code through today and I thought I'd just show you my initial thoughts and comments and a bit a quick how to on how to use it. Um, for people that don't know, it's all about managing work and life and getting that balance right. Uh, it seems like a nice productivity tool. It's something that I'm very interested in doing and if it makes my life even 5% easier, I think it's well worth the look. So, I like I said, I joined the mailing list. I got a code through today. Just press sign in, put my code in, and now I've set up my calendar. So this is the calendar I've set up. It's a dummy calendar. I don't actually live in London. This is just fake, just to show you what you can do with locations on your events and everything. Um, so... To get started, just to show you how to add things to your calendar is very easy. All you do is click the date you want to do it on and what you want to do. Say I've got a medical appointment. Uh, so from 2 o'clock, so after this coffee that I've got scheduled, well, 3, 3.45, add location, London Hospital. So just that's the first one that came up, so I'll click Notting Hill. So you can put repeat in. It's put a little doctor logo there, which you can change. Category, it's automatically um, selected personal care and what calendar, my personal calendar is what I want to put it in. So I'll click that, and then click save. As you can see, there it is. And what I, th what I really like about this calendar compared to stuff like Outlook and other ones I've used before is, you can stack stuff on, so obviously I'm at work 8.35 while 5.30. I've got a meeting, if I want to change my lunch, all I do is to one o'clock, all I do is drag it down, just this one one event. Or I can um, literally move it up and down and say I want to change them all, and it'll change them all to that. Or I've got a meeting, I want to change, just this one. So I like how flexible it is compared to other stuff I've used before. You can literally move it around. I'll, if I just go to this gym session, and just edit it. I like how as well, there's custom ways you can repeat. You can repeat every week, month, year, day, um, different days of the week, how many occurrences. It's, it's very flexible on how you can put events and appointments down. You can add your location, so I just put Jim London in like I've shown you. Uh, if I just say, say just this one, and it shows you a little map. So that's in fitness and workout. If I go to this run, which I've put in the same gym, but same again, it's put it in fitness and run. Uh, travel to work, and it's and then drinks on Park Lane. Oh, of course, made up. I'm not that rich, but um, I thought it were. It's a nice very easy to use calendar it took me literally minutes to get used to the interface um but this is where the calendar i think shines on its own so if i go to this little layout button here so plan is what i'm currently in now which is everything but if i want to plan my personal time i can just mute work and then it'll just show me everything i've got on my personal calendars which i think is a nice touch you can go weekdays and f I'll just filter it by the day and then if I put my work back on it's a kind of a very nice and just show work again it's a very nice user interface there if I go to focus it, this is more of a breakdown let's just go from Saturday so I've got a breakdown day by day I can have three the next three days so looking into the weekend what have I got planned? What have I got planned on the last couple of days of work? You can go for the full week, which is what we were looking at before. If we go focus again, 
that just focuses on one day. And then you can choose the density, density of the time. So if we've got a cozy, that stretches it out quite a lot. If I go to relax, it stretches it out even more. So you can see, you can customize your views, which I think is a very nice touch as well. Compact, but I like this relax one. So if I click relax on the shortcut, anything to do with work that's on my work calendar is hidden. And it's just coming up with travel, lunch, medical I've got, coffee, drinks. It's kind of a nice touch. All right, I want to plan my free time, so I'll go and relax. And then I'll I'll show my show me my what I'm doing in my free time, and if I can move any like my runabout or my gym appointments, it's kind of a nice touch. So I kind of I get what they're trying to do with the, um, with the work and free time and everything, and I like I like the map interfaces and where it shows you everything. So there I've got it can turn work off per personal workouts. So you can just add to these calendars. So if I wanted to go create a calendar and put YouTube, can. And then, then anything, I can now put appointments. If I wanted to create an appointment on Sunday, uh, make video. I can add make video. A couple of hours to make a video. I'm not gonna put a location in, but you can put your home if you really wanted to. Put it to the YouTube calendar and then put hobbies. And then you could change the logo to customize it a little bit more. So I'll change it to, let's change it to these little things here. Play, yeah, save. So now if I wanted to just look at what my plans are for YouTube, it shows me on Sunday at 10 past 10 while 11.30. And then you can show everything as well. So I think it is a really good calendar. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to, I'll probably make another video as they release a bit more updates and they release the beta. Um, it, it, yeah, it is very nice. Would I pay for it if they start charging for it? If I use it for a few days and I feel like it's improving my organisation and helping with my memory and not missing appointments, I would probably pay for it. I don't know how much I'd pay for it. It'd have to be like an annual fee um, that's not very big for me to actually pay for it. And I'd, and I'd have to use it every day as well for me to actually justify paying for it. But I, f I hope you've found this little overview helpful. I've showed you what I've liked, the moving around, how easy it is to add stuff to the calendar. I like the user interface. Um, it has, it definitely has potential. I know it's only currently been developed and it's in the alpha stage, but I have a feeling this could uh, really take off. And now I'll just have a quick look at the app. So if you just open the app, um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's just mirroring what's on the desktop, which is very good, and it's just summing it up day by day, so if I'm scrolling through the days, click on an, an appointment, it tells me where it is, the GPS location, and also you can just move around, and it's, it is quite busy, my calendar on the desktop, but when you actually look at it on your phone, it sums it up quite well, which is what I like as well, but yeah, it's a very nice uh, bit of kit, and hopefully they'll improve it and it won't be too expensive when it's when it's in its final state. So yeah, so that was the app and this is the desktop version. I hope you found this little video helpful. If you have, please leave any comments, what you like and dislike about it, and please subscribe to my channel to support. And thanks for watching.